what's up guys welcome back so today I wanted to do another nail hack type video for you all this one's gonna be geared towards nail techs in particular um, these kind of nail hacks will work perfectly for you if you are working in a salon or on location traveling whatever um, I have some things that are going to save you time save you money and, and give you some dual purposes for some of your products and implements that you're already using. So I hope you guys enjoy these hacks, and if you do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and let's just get into it. The first hack I wanted to talk about is when you store your acrylic brushes. Now I know a lot of people, if you do acrylic nails regularly as a nail tech, then you would have your acrylic brushes maybe in a cup, on display, different things like that, but I like to store mine away in a drawer if I do use mine. So I was trying to figure out what was a good way to store mine without getting um, the acrylic, or the monomer on other things in my drawer, making sure I keep my brush completely clean, things like that. And one of the tips that I used when I very first started out in the industry, completely a newbie, was I got a toothbrush carrying case to put my acrylic brushes inside of. And the really cool thing about these is that the acrylic is not, the chemicals in the acrylic is not gonna eat through this type of plastic. Um, and it also has ventilation holes in the toothbrush holder on both ends. So you don't have to worry about the fumes from your brushes. I just have two in here right now and they fit perfectly. They keep your brushes clean and they keep your brushes off of other things in your drawer. This is also another tip that I figured out for myself when I very first started. I like to do hand painted nail art and I'm constantly using dotting tools, nail art brushes and different things like that to do the art with. And I needed a palette for myself. So I went to the dollar store and I picked up these glass I guess you could call them coasters, or um, they could also be candle holders as well, but they just have the grippies on the bottom so that they're not going to slide off of your table. And what I like to do, this is my messy one, but I like to just put all of the color on here and then I can dip off of here. This one, as you can tell, I have just kept all the stuff on there because it dries and I just think it looks pretty cool. Um, this one is just the completely new version, what it would look like. Um, the dollar stores have these in all different shapes and sizes too, so you could also get a smaller one if you prefer. But I just think they're really cool and they're really easy to clean off since they're glass. Also going along with a palette kind of situation, a hack that I learned, this one has two different uses for me, um, or three I guess you could say. I would always make sure that I had a roll of aluminum foil um, on hand in my nail table. And what I would do is I would cut them up into squares or small rectangles, just enough to be able to wrap around the finger whenever I'm removing gel or acrylics and things like that. So you don't have to have your client sit their entire hands in acetone bowls. These are really, really cheap and convenient ways to soak off any enhancements. Also, I like to use them as a palette themselves. So these are super easy if I'm using normal polish or gel. Just put the polish on there and then whenever you're done, you just throw it away and you're done after your service. The next hack I have to mention because I don't think I've talked about it in several, several videos and that is a cleanup brush. I used to rave about this in my earlier videos here on my channel. Um, this is just an e.l.f. Uh, concealer brush, I believe, that I just got for $1 at Target and it works perfectly as a cleanup brush to clean up around the edges of the nail, whether you're using gel or normal polish. I like to dip it in acetone that's in a Dappen dish and it works absolutely perfectly. And this is just a dollar, so it's a super cheap way to clean up and make sure that your edges are perfect. Now this next hack is for someone that wants to save a little bit of money whenever they're purchasing all of their bulk items. I use Dispo I use disposable orange wood sticks for my cuticle care and cleaning of the nails and toes and a lot of the times they'll come in big long sticks like this that you can get from Amazon and what I like to do is buy in bulk and then I like to cut them in half so you end up having a perfectly sized cuticle stick to use and it doesn't get in the way with anything that you're already doing it works perfectly and you get double the amount that you paid for on Amazon. I will link down below where I get my favorite sticks. This last hack, I'm sure you guys have heard of it if you are a nail tech yourself and probably use this as well, but I just had to mention it that I like to use makeup applicator sponges for all of my gradients or ombre nails and things like that. Um, it's very, very specific to each person, but I like to use sponges that are a lot more dense just because I find that they don't soak up the nail polish as quickly so you don't waste as much products and it helps to distribute across the nail. 
I've tried so many different sponges that just seem to like pick up the polish after you keep dabbing and it just ruins the design that you already have on there. So I will link down below some of my favorite sponges that I've tried for you guys. So I think that's everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.